Hello and welcome to Nextara's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Force.com workbook. This series covers Chapter 1, Create an App and Database, and this video covers Section 3, Add Fields to an Object. First, click Setup, then Create, Objects, and click Merchandise. Now click New under Custom Fields and Relationships. For the type, we're going to choose Currency, and then click Next. For the field label, type in Price. Set the length to 16, and set the number of decimal places to 2. Be sure to check the Required box, and then click Next. Now click Next again. Now click Save and New to save this and create a new one. This time, choose Number. Click Next, and set the field label to Quantity. You can leave length and decimal places alone, but again click Required, and then click Next. Click Next again, and this time just click Save. This is the Merchandise Detail page. It shows you everything you need to know about your Merchandise Custom Object. Here is the API name. This was generated for you when you specified the name of the object, and this is how the object is referenced programmatically. Here you'll see the standard fields which were created automatically, and here you'll see the custom fields which include the fields you've just created. Now let's try out these new fields. Click the Merchandise tab, then click Laptop. Now click Edit. Now we're going to actually enter a price and quantity. For price, enter 500, and for quantity, let's enter 1,000, then click Save. Now click the Merchandise tab again, and let's do the same for e-reader. Let's enter a price of 100, and a quantity of 1500. Now click Save. Now click the Merchandise tab again, and let's actually create a new entry. So click New, and let's call it Desktop. Now we can go ahead and enter Price. Let's enter 1000, and Quantity 500. Click Save and New to create another new one, and this will be named Tablet. Let's give it a price of 300, and for quantity, let's enter 5,000. Now click Save. Looking more closely at this merchandise record, you can see both the standard fields, such as Owner, Created By, and Last Modified By, and the custom fields, Price and Quantity, that we've created. In our next video, we'll cover Section 4, Creating a New Object. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+.